Hello and welcome everyone to another Stage Designer tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about how to send MIDI values out using Stage Designer playlist. In order to do that I would first need to activate my MIDI device. For that I would go to settings, input and output, I would navigate to the MIDI tab and here I would see a list of all the available MIDI controllers that I have attached to my server. As I see, my Nano Key 2 is already activated. By clicking on it, I can deactivate it or I can activate more of these options that are available. You have to notice that the outputs are marked as outputs and the inputs have nothing in front of them. So I know that this is the input and this is the output. In this case, I need to send out MIDI values, so I need to definitely make sure that I have the output activated. I have to notice that the software needs also a restart to be able to take these changes into its setting. And you should also notice that once the software is already started and if you connect a MIDI device, you're not going to be able to see it in this list. So always connect your MIDI devices before you turn the software on or you can restart the software once you're using it and you want to connect a MIDI device. There's also two other options here that I can use for MIDI devices in case I have motor faders for example, some MIDI controllers have uh, note on and off and motor faders. You can activate those two also here. Once I'm done, I can click on OK and now I can start programming my playlist with MIDI commands. I can go to the position that I need my MIDI command on. I right click on the queue and I navigate to input and output. I select MIDI command and down here now I can program my MIDI command. I can set the channel that I want my MIDI command to be sent. I can select the controller number and the control value. So basically the MIDI value that I need to send. So as easy as that, I can make sure that when I play this, the value is going to, this value is going to be sent on the MIDI channel seven and controller number 13. There's no limitation on how many of these commands I can use. I can use multiple MIDI commands right next to each other or in a column, one after the next to be executed. And that is how easy I can use MIDI commands in Stage Designer playlist to send out MIDI to other devices that read MIDI. I hope you're enjoying using the software and hope to see you in another tutorial.